Opalzilla, we call this. She can feast and put through a lot of dirt. At the heart of their operation, Opalzilla, a 10-tonne processing plant capable of sifting through mountains of pre-mined earth for the smallest trace of opal. We need Opalzilla to find our way for us. I wouldn't be taking on Cupidity like we are without it. First thing we do, we fill the hopper up with dirt. Then it runs out the conveyor belt. You've got a conveyor belt running out of the hopper, which goes into the trumbull. The trumbull's turning, and that's basically your sieve taking all the dust off. The final stage is Opalzilla's secret weapon. The opal-bearing rocks just rattle their way through into the darkroom, and the pickers sit there picking it off the belt, because in the darkroom, we've got ultraviolet lights, and it makes the opal really glow and stand out, so you can't, you can't miss it. But if we don't get the dust off it properly, it, it, it's coated and you won't see it. When you get the real big, like almost cigarette packet size pieces come through, it's just like, oh, is it, is it a hot color? Until you open the door and go out, have a look in the light, yep, yeah, pretty well. Could be anything you want it to be in the bucket. When hit by the ultraviolet rays of the black light, water electrons inside the opal become excited, releasing energy and fluorescing. Worthless, uncoloured opal, known as potch, through to rare, valuable red opal, all glow. Yeah, I don't know about today, eh? What do you mean? A little bit slow. Could be potch city. Not much to look at. Uh. Oh, Bad that's start. A, that's the last thing we need, man. Like, the slow days just... Ah! We'll need some money just to pay for the costs of coming out here, you know, living costs, diesel costs. It's no, no point going home empty-handed because that's pretty disappointing. Makes you always think, you know, is it worth, to, worth coming back? Cuba PD newcomers, the Blacklighters, are getting desperate. They have 12 mouths to feed and have found no opal. If you don't know what you're looking for, it, it all looks the same. They're hoping local knowledge gleaned from veteran miner James Coombs will help. When I was digging with the loader, I was targeting the sort of level dirt that he showed me. And I think just those little tips he gave me, it just helped me isolate where the actual opal was coming from out of the dump. Oh, is it glower? It was a glower, nice and fresh. The rock-bearing belt moves at one metre a second, requiring fast hands to grab the opal before it's dumped off the conveyor. So what's coming through, much? Actually, we had a good spell there where it was just like we, were, we couldn't keep up. Awesome. Yeah, in that muddier stuff, that the wet muddy, mud. Yeah, that's down deep. I'm just starting yep. to get to that. We'll just keep bringing that now. through, and I reckon we're doing it all the way. The buckets are filling. Awesome. At this stage in here, Jesus, there could be, you know, a lot of money in that bucket right there. Not just collecting. But we just don't know until later. It's too hard to see what anything is in here. Yeah. Right, oh. Another big day, eh? A bit better than yesterday. Was it? Oh, yeah, yeah I think yeah. so. Have a look in the sun, eh? Slowly picking up a little bit. Oh, oh. Ho, ho. look at that. There's ho, ho. Th that is. Blinging. Oh, wow. We need some more of that. Wow. Dude, I'm a bit happy with that. I'm actually really happy with that. That's magnificent. Let's head for home and see what we got, eh? Yep. The Blacklighters have uncovered six kilograms of rough opal. Even though they're experienced miners, this is the first they've found in Kubapedi and have no idea of its value. It seems like most of it's got most, most colours in it. It's different to me to be, but it's still so beautiful. I'm going to ring my mate James because um, he sold some parcels from pretty close to where we're working anyway, so he might have a bit more of an idea on what we're going to get for this material so we don't make a mistake. Well, let me put some glasses on because I've classed and sold a lot of this stuff, so... That'll help, eh? Got some nice kicky stuff here, don't you? That'll add up into something. Let's pick out all the top ones. Yeah, there. Yeah. Cool. Look at that. Yeah. That's a chunk. <laughs> that's, yeah. yeah, that's one of our favourites. You've been here a week and you yeah. find another one. Oh, Bloody oh. hell. You're not doing bad, are you? <laughs> nice red, eh? Hey? Yeah. Some people dig for 20 years and don't find this much. 
Oh, look at that. My goodness. The black lighters have high quality white and crystal opal. It features the full spectrum of colors, including the most desirable and valuable red. We'll weigh this stuff up and see what it comes to. That's 1,162 carats. Ooh. Holy, Holy. 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 Oh. Oh. oh, yes! You wouldn't take less than $100 a carat minimum. Holy moly. Holy moly, huh? hey? Because look at now this stuff. Now we're talking, oh, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. That's what we want to hear, yeah. Dave. That's what we want to hear. <laughs> that oh. big bugger, your Kingstone, that's a couple of thousand dollars a carat. Oh. Yeah, no, it's in dollar value. That's about $116,200 oh. in rough. Oh. Oh. Yes! <laughs> yeah, that's oh. just stunning top opal. That's oh. absolutely oh, thank stunning. You. Oh. Yeah, opal can change lives, eh? Oh, man. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you just got to cut it and it's polish it, mate. Yes. yes! Well done, boys, eh? 1,162 carats, or 232 grams, worth an estimated $116,000. Yes! The boss has lost it. <laughs> that is awesome work, guys. Wicked. <laughs> and that's just like, it's just the start, eh? Just the start. <laughs> it was awesome. The last thing you're, you're expecting. We can um, afford to set the kids up with everything they need up here and get them nice and comfortable. And we've got the best ground pegged in the area, I reckon, and we're not going to walk away from it, no way. Oh, it was a massive relief. The amount we got was just phenomenal. Pretty well, just an all-round amazing day for me. Oh, oh yeah, I can break down. I don't, I don't know what to say.